The ongoing conflict between Israel and Hamas has been momentarily eclipsed by a groundbreaking technological revelation. Israel, in collaboration with its allies, has unveiled a new fleet of advanced fighter jets, boasting unparalleled capabilities and cutting-edge features. But, in a surprising move, Elon Musk's SpaceX has captured the world's attention with an entirely different kind of innovation. The launch of a mysterious, UFO-like aircraft that has sparked global intrigue and raised questions about its advanced technology and the potential impact it could have on the conflict. What exactly makes this UFO so unique? And how might its presence alter the dynamics of the Israel-Hamas conflict? Join us as we explore the remarkable capabilities of Elon Musk's UFO fighter jet, a machine that appears to defy the very laws of physics. Under Elon Musk's leadership, SpaceX has made remarkable strides in space technology, particularly with the development of three key rockets. The Falcon 1, SpaceX's first rocket, was a significant breakthrough, becoming the first privately funded liquid-fueled rocket to reach orbit. Although it was retired in 2009 after five successful launches, the Falcon 1 laid the foundation for all of SpaceX's future achievements. The Falcon 9, a medium-lift rocket, has since become a cornerstone of space exploration, capable of carrying up to 22,800 kilograms into orbit. First launched in 2010, the Falcon 9 has undergone numerous updates, with the Falcon 9 Block 5 introduced in 2018, featuring a reusable first stage that can land, be recovered, and flown again. A major innovation that has significantly reduced the cost of space travel. SpaceX then introduced the Falcon Heavy, an even more powerful rocket that can carry up to 63,800 kilograms into low Earth orbit or 26,700 kilograms into higher orbits. The Falcon Heavy's first mission in 2018 famously sent Elon Musk's personal Tesla Roadster into space, showcasing the rocket's impressive capabilities and demonstrating SpaceX's ability to achieve the extraordinary. Looking ahead, SpaceX is developing Starship, a fully reusable rocket system that includes the Super Heavy first stage and the Starship second stage. Starship is designed to be more advanced than any current rocket, with the ambitious goal of enabling missions to the Moon, Mars, and beyond. In addition to these rockets, SpaceX has developed various rocket engines, including the Merlin, Kestrel, and Raptor. The Raptor engine, which uses liquid oxygen and methane, is particularly noteworthy as it powers the Starship system, representing a significant leap forward in rocket propulsion technology. SpaceX has also made significant advancements with its Dragon spacecraft, which is used to transport cargo and astronauts to the International Space Station, ISS. The latest iteration, Dragon 2, completed its first crewed flight in 2020, further solidifying SpaceX's role in keeping people aboard the ISS and advancing human space exploration. However, in the midst of all this technological progress, Elon Musk has ventured into a new and unexpected domain, the creation of a real-life UFO. The X-1, as it is called, has been closely monitored by the US government and represents a remarkable achievement in aerospace engineering. This extraordinary craft, developed through years of research, effort, and teamwork, at SpaceX, is capable of reaching hypersonic speeds of 4,600 mesmatirps while boasting impressive fuel efficiency. Musk's bold move into advanced aerospace technology raises fascinating questions about the intersection of innovation, global politics, and conflict. The X-1's uniqueness is further highlighted by its groundbreaking camouflage technology, which renders it practically invisible as it glides through the sky, disguised as nothing more than a cloud. The Pentagon's initial bewilderment, mistaking the X-1 for a UFO and subsequently launching fighter jets in pursuit, adds a layer of suspense to this already dramatic saga. Elon Musk's penchant for secrecy during the development of the X-1 has led to confusion within the Hamas camp, leaving militants puzzled by the visionary entrepreneur's intentions. What makes the X-1 so remarkable is that it is the only aircraft equipped with a compact space shuttle engine a technology previously only seen on the Hawk hypersonic missile, also developed by SpaceX. This missile can reach an astounding speed of over 4,600 mm per h, bypassing all modern missile defense systems. Now, 
This same engine powers the new X1, which also features a design improvement that reduces fuel consumption by an impressive 30%. This advanced spacecraft's reduced fuel use, combined with its revolutionary microwave technology, reminiscent of something straight out of a sci-fi movie, sets it apart from traditional military technology. The microwave system is particularly noteworthy for its ability to melt enemy aircraft or disrupt their electronics, potentially revolutionizing the way modern warfare is conducted. But the X-1's capabilities don't stop there. The microwave system has another fascinating application. When the radiation is toned down and aimed at a person, 83% of the energy is absorbed by the top layer of skin, creating a sensation akin to being dipped in molten metal. This unbearable feeling would make anyone want to flee the area instantly, abandoning their tank or equipment, which could then be easily captured. Such a weapon could be a game-changing asset for the US military. However, as it stands, there is tension between the Pentagon and Elon Musk over the use of this technology. While Musk sees the X-1 as a potential strategic weapon, the military establishment remains cautious, sparking a nuanced debate on the role of such advanced technology in modern conflict. Despite the tension between Musk and the military, the X-1 continues to astonish with its stealth technology that avoids radar detection. It can reach an incredible altitude of 105,000 feet, even higher than the famous SR-71 Blackbird. This mix of speed, invisibility, and high altitude could transform both space travel and the operation of air defense systems. However, like every other aircraft ever created, the X-1 is not invulnerable to challenges. To counter this high-flying craft, supersonic missiles are required. And that's where the F-35 Lightning II and F-22 Raptor come into play. Despite their advanced technology, these fighter jets struggle to keep up with the X-1, which zooms along at 4,600 nalorts pH, while the F-35, by comparison, reaches only 1,200 mitzwaunzers. By the time an F-35 is en route, the X-1 would already have reached its target, destroyed it, and returned to base without needing to refuel. The developers of the X-1 intended to build a fighter jet for the 21st century that could take on all of the advanced threats. While the F-35 and F-22 are armed with powerful weapons like the AIM-120 AMRAAM hypersonic missiles, which can travel at Mach 4 and reach speeds of up to 3,000 on 100 mpaprism pH, these missiles can only maintain their speed for about half an hour, making the battle with the X-1 an intense and high-stakes challenge. The X-1, on the other hand, is different in terms of its armaments. Instead of traditional missiles, it destroys targets with a very unusual weapon, a microwave system that emits electromagnetic vibrations in the millimeter wave range. These waves, when directed at an object, affect it like a laser, but over a much wider area. Microwave radiation at full power can literally melt an enemy aircraft. But more often, this system is used to disable all electronics, effectively turning a fighter jet into a pile of flying scrap metal. The mission of the X-1 aircraft was conceived as part of what the Air Force calls the High-Low Mix. One of the X-1's standout features is its ability to reach astonishing heights, using an engine typically found in space launchers. The X-1 can soar up to 105,000 feet, which is higher than most military aircraft can reach. It also has one of the most powerful microwave systems, which can interfere with both equipment and people. The jet's advanced camouflage makes it nearly invisible to radar and to the naked eye, blending seamlessly into the sky like a cloud. The tale of this technological marvel also needs to recognize the crucial role of skilled pilots. Fighter jets are not just machines. They are flown by experts who can outthink any SpaceX operator flying the X-1. The combination of advanced technology and human skill makes the aerial competition more complex and exciting. The situation changes when altitude is taken into account. The X-1 stands out with its ability to reach astonishing heights using an engine typically found in space launchers. The X-1 can soar up to 105,000 feet with ease, while the F-22 Raptor, though highly agile, can only reach 72,000 feet, making it less competitive at such extreme altitudes. Adding the X-1's microwave weapon to the mix raises the stakes even further. 
Although the F-22's impressive maneuverability might help it evade danger when things get intense, it's clear that the X-1's capabilities give it a significant edge. Previously, the only United States aircraft capable of reaching such altitudes was the SR-71 Blackbird. However, the Blackbird lacked offensive capabilities and relied on flying very high and fast to avoid being caught. Its radar-evading tricks and dark color made it difficult to track, and even when targeted by missiles, it could often outrun or dodge them. At the same height, the X-1 is virtually untouchable by current air defense systems, giving it a distinct advantage over the Blackbird. The only way to take down the X-1 would be with a fighter jet that can get close enough to launch a supersonic missile. The United States has such aircraft, namely the F-35 Lightning II and F-22 Raptor, both of which are formidable opponents. Beyond exploring space, SpaceX has launched several other significant projects, such as Starlink, a satellite network aimed at providing affordable internet worldwide. By December 2022, Starlink had over 1 million subscribers, although some astronomers have raised concerns about light pollution caused by the network's satellites. Elon Musk's efforts also extend to humanitarian work. In 2018, SpaceX created a mini-submarine to help rescue children trapped in a flooded cave in Thailand. During the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, the company supported public health initiatives by collaborating on antibody testing to combat the virus, demonstrating a commitment to societal well-being beyond space exploration. When the Israel-Hamas conflict erupted in October 2023, responses varied widely. At least 44 countries labeled Hamas a terrorist organization, while some Middle Eastern nations called for de-escalation, pointing to Israel's long-term occupation of Palestinian territories as a root cause of the conflict. The conflict also led to clashes between Israeli forces and militants in Lebanon, including Hezbollah. Amidst this backdrop, the US military has showcased its impressive technology, with Lockheed Martin leading the way in aerospace innovation. The F-35 Lightning II and the stealthy F-117 Nighthawk developed by Lockheed Martin, are well-known milestones in aviation history. The SR-71 Blackbird, famous for its incredible speed of 2,000 dollar MPAH, pushed the boundaries of aerodynamics and proved that advanced aerospace technology could overcome even extreme conditions like the intense heat generated during high-speed flight. Now, the focus shifts to the SR-72, designed to break speed records and master aerodynamics in a new era of aviation. Its propulsion system is a blend of conventional turbojet and advanced ramjet technology, optimizing performance throughout the flight. The SR-72's design represents a careful balance of form and function, with engineers paying close attention to both its appearance and capabilities. The aircraft's engine transforms fuel into powerful thrust, making the SR-72 truly exceptional. The SR-72's staggering Mach 10 capability is not just a numerical statistic, it's a monumental leap forward. A technological milestone that propels humanity into a future once relegated to the realm of science fiction. In a world previously confined by geographical constraints, the Dark Star represents a monumental leap in aviation technology, pushing the boundaries of what was once thought impossible. Beyond its awe-inspiring speed, the SR-72's unparalleled maneuverability sets it apart, not as a luxury, but as a fundamental attribute crucial for survival in modern aerial combat. The cockpit becomes an extension of the pilot's mind, a conduit for rapid decisions communicated to the aircraft's responsive design. Here, science converges with art, and skilled pilots become conductors of an agility symphony defying odds and pushing the limits of what is possible in the sky. Enter the Laser Weapon System, LAWS, integrated into the Dark Star, marking a major leap in modern warfare doctrine due to its light-based weaponry, speed, and precision. Traditional defense mechanisms are rendered obsolete as this system generates a high-energy laser beam directed at targets with extreme precision, neutralizing threats with unprecedented efficiency. With its unmatched speed, lethal laser capabilities, and superior maneuverability, the Dark Star is an airborne assassin, gliding gracefully over enemy bases and eliminating crucial targets with pinpoint accuracy. However, 
The lingering question persists. Is there room for any further advancement in technology? Absolutely. This advancement has come in the form of the Next Generation Air Dominance, NGAD, program, initiated by the United States Air Force in 2014. Representing a stealthy addition to the U.S. military arsenal, this program, with an estimated investment of $16 billion, endeavors to usher in the era of sixth-generation fighters. The NGAD fighter's extraordinary speed, reaching an impressive 1,800 memelmalers, ensures rapid response times and allows for swift ingress and egress from hostile airspace, establishing it as a formidable force in aerial combat. With a remarkable flight ceiling of 15 miles, this fighter operates at altitudes that few adversaries can effectively engage, providing a strategic advantage in the skies. Stealth technology is a hallmark of the NGAD fighter, as its advanced coating renders it virtually invisible to radar detection, presenting a substantial challenge for enemy forces to track and target. This quality bestows a significant edge in combat scenarios, allowing the fighter to operate discreetly and strike with precision. What truly sets the NGAD fighter apart is its integration of cutting-edge artificial intelligence AI. This AI system endows the fighter with unparalleled autonomy and decision-making capabilities, allowing it to control a swarm of drones, enhancing its versatility and combat effectiveness. This AI-driven feature enables coordinated and precise drone operations, empowering the fighter with adaptability and rapid response in dynamic combat situations. This next-generation fighter demonstrates a comprehensive approach to aerial dominance by deploying two types of drones. The reconnaissance drones, equipped with highly precise radars, create an extensive surveillance net, detecting threats within a significant distance. Once identified, the fighter deploys a second type of drone, armed with advanced weaponry and exceptional accuracy, swiftly eliminating targets within seconds. The integration of AI also helps to enhance situational awareness and extend reach and lethality. This combination of speed, stealth, and autonomous drone control positions the fighter as a formidable force on the modern battlefield. These advanced aircraft, the SR-72 and NGAD, have the potential to redefine the future of aviation, revolutionizing reconnaissance, strike missions, and air warfare. The success of these projects could solidify the United States' air dominance, setting new standards for global aviation and marking a pivotal moment in the evolution of aerial combat and intelligence gathering. As the Dark Star and NGAD hold the spotlight, a European marvel named The Tempest gracefully emerges, boasting mind-blowing advancements in technology and the capabilities to dominate the skies. The Tempest is a formidable fighter, boasting amazing speeds of up to 1,000 to in your voice. While it opts for a more traditional approach in some areas, drawing inspiration from aircraft like the F-35 and F-22, the Tempest distinguishes itself with sheer power, maximum maneuverability, and a stealth game that takes the art to the next level. European engineers designed a hull that not only blocks radar frequencies, but practically renders the aircraft invisible to detection, thanks to an absorbent coating and a shape that deftly manipulates radar waves. The Tempest is designed to be modular, easily adaptable to different roles for specific missions, and featuring components that can be upgraded throughout its lifetime. With delta wings and outward-pointing vertical stabilizers, the Tempest incorporates cutting-edge technology, from stealth features and the ability to fly unmanned to swarming. Technology for Drone Control Artificial intelligence, deep learning, and directed energy weapons further solidify its status as a fighter of the future. Equipped with a cooperative engagement capability, the Tempest can seamlessly share data and messages with other aircraft, facilitating coordinated actions. Its virtual cockpit, displayed on a pilot's helmet-mounted Striker 2 unit, coupled with an adaptive cycle engine using lightweight composite materials, showcases a commitment to advanced technology without compromising cost-effectiveness. Leonardo, a key player in this collaboration, proposes a radar warning receiver that's four times as accurate in just one-tenth the size of current units. The aircraft's raised rear fuselage section, S-shaped ducting behind its twin-engine inlets, 
and the deep placement of its engines inside the fuselage all contribute to minimizing radar and infrared signatures. Beyond its technical specifications, the Tempest introduces innovative features like a pilot's helmet that monitors brain signals and other medical data, creating a unique biometric and psychometric information database for each pilot. The aircraft's AI collaborates with this database, assisting the pilot in various scenarios, such as taking over flight controls during a blackout due to G-forces or increasing workload under high-stress situations. Yet, the Tempest capabilities continue beyond there. It is also equipped with hypersonic missiles, with four engines bestowing upon them the agility to maneuver and dodge anti-aircraft defenses at speeds of two miles per minute. These missiles elegantly dance around interception attempts, even defying the threat of laser weapons. Before the escalation of the Israel-Hamas conflict, Iran had unveiled its hypersonic missile, named the Fatah. Developed by the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, IRGC. The Fatah symbolizes Iran's persistent pursuit of military advancements. This unveiling marks a significant achievement in Iran's defense capabilities, drawing international attention for its claimed high maneuverability, exceptional speed, and purported ability to counter known missile defense systems. The name Fatah, meaning conqueror or bringer of victory, was personally chosen by Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei adding symbolic weight to this technological achievement. The FATA missile is a two-stage solid-fueled weapon with an impressive range of 1,500 kilometers and a terminal velocity ranging from Mach 13 to Mach 15. Its distinctive spherical engine warhead powered by solid fuel and equipped with a movable nozzle enhances speed and enables precise maneuverability in multiple directions. The use of solid fuel for propulsion ensures its effectiveness in various environmental conditions. On November 19, Iran showcased its Fatah II hypersonic missile during a visit by Supreme Leader Ayatollah Ali Khamenei to the IRGC Air Force Museum in Tehran. Media reports reveal that the Fatah II includes a ballistic missile engine, similar to the one used in the earlier Fatah missile revealed in June. Its re-entry vehicle design resembles Boeing's X-51 Waverider experimental hypersonic missile, but lacks an air intake for a scramjet engine. This advanced hypersonic ballistic missile showcased by Iran stands out for its exceptional velocity, surpassing the capabilities of conventional ballistic missiles. Its high speed not only extends its range, but also significantly reduces the reaction time for potential targets and adversaries, establishing it as a formidable weapon in Iran's arsenal. As the world grapples with the implications of these advanced technologies, the joint efforts of the U.S. Dark Star, NGAD, Europe's Tempest, and the X-1 teams are of paramount importance. This collaboration aims not only to develop effective defenses against potential threats, but also to address the concerns raised by the introduction of such powerful weapons. While these advancements have the potential to either reduce tensions or increase concerns depending on how they are used, they undoubtedly add a new layer to global conflicts. In conclusion, the rapid advancement of aerospace technology, exemplified by the X-1, SR-72, NGAD, and Tempest, is reshaping the future of aviation, warfare, and space exploration. These technologies offer unprecedented capabilities, but also pose significant ethical and strategic challenges. In 1966, the Venera 3 probe made a historic crash landing on Venus, becoming the first human-made object to reach another planet. Meanwhile, the Soviets were also ramping up their Mars program, eager to explore the Red Planet. Early missions were small in scale, but after several failures, they began launching more ambitious spacecraft to venture deeper into space. These groundbreaking efforts were fueled by the fierce competition of the space race with the United States. Several hundred miles south of Moscow lies the Space Conqueror Park, a testament to Russia's rich history in space exploration. This park was established because, six decades ago, this area played a pivotal role in that history. The Soviet Union pushed the boundaries of space exploration, laying the groundwork for today's advanced programs. However, much of this history remains shrouded in mystery. Astronauts sometimes encounter unexplained phenomena the modern science can't account for. Yet, space agencies often downplay or ignore these events. 
In today's video, we'll reveal a chilling account shared by a cosmonaut. But this is just the beginning. What other secrets have been buried? How long have they been hidden? And what does this mean for our understanding of space? Stay tuned to find out more. Elon Musk and the unsolved mystery of UFO Elon Musk, the CEO of SpaceX, has long been fascinated by the mysteries of the universe, from cutting-edge space technology to the elusive subject of UFOs. He frequently engages with these topics on social media and in interviews, often sparking widespread interest. In a recent discussion, Musk drew attention to a video allegedly leaked by Soviet cosmonaut Ivan Wagner. At 35, Wagner is relatively new to the International Space Station ISS team, joining Russian colleague Anatoly Ivanishin and American commander Chris Cassidy on a mission. During his time aboard the ISS, Wagner supposedly recorded a video meant to capture the breathtaking southern lights, Aurora Australis. However, the video garnered attention for a different reason. It appeared to show a formation of unidentified flying objects, UFOs, moving in unison above the Earth. In a specific segment between 9 and 12 seconds into the video, five objects can be seen, evenly spaced apart. Wagner took to social media asking, what do you think those are? Meteors? Satellites? Or something else? He noted that the video was a time lapse, meaning the brief appearance of the objects actually lasted around 52 seconds in real time. The phenomenon appears as a sequence of lights arranged in a distinct angled line. The clip quickly went viral, with many of Wagner's followers suggesting the objects were indeed UFOs. Wagner reported the footage to Roscosmos, and experts at the Space Research Institute of the Russian Academy of Sciences are currently analyzing it. The ISS's silence on the matter only fueled public curiosity. NASA did not mention Wagner's video in its updates, and other ISS crew members have not publicly commented. Despite Wagner's submission of the video for investigation, the absence of an official response has left the public speculating about another space mystery. This incident has reignited debates about what secrets space agencies might be keeping from the public. Musk's commentary is just one of many that have explored the idea of government cover-ups in space. Historical Soviet missions, such as the 1982 Venera 13 mission to Venus, add to these enigmas. Venera 13 sent back high-resolution images and gathered detailed data on Venus including the detection of organic molecules, which some suggest could indicate the presence of life. These findings raise questions about whether Soviet missions may have encountered extraterrestrial life. The ongoing secrecy from space agencies regarding such significant discoveries continues to fuel public curiosity and a desire for answers. As Musk's comments suggest, there is a deep and enduring public interest in these unresolved mysteries. Many hope that future revelations by space agencies will shed light on the truth about these missions and their potentially groundbreaking discoveries, the Soviets and the Red Planet. The Cold War was much more than just a geopolitical standoff between the United States and the Soviet Union, defined by intense political maneuvering and the looming threat of nuclear conflict. It also ignited one of the most significant periods of competition in space exploration. While Neil Armstrong's famous moonwalk often dominates public memory, the Soviets had already secured several key milestones in space before NASA achieved its lunar success. In 1957, they launched Sputnik 1, the world's first artificial satellite, which sent shockwaves across the globe and spurred the United States into action. This event marked the official start of the space race. By 1959, the Soviets had furthered their lead with Luna 2, the first spacecraft to reach the moon's surface, providing valuable data back to Earth. These early victories paved the way for a series of ambitious Soviet lunar missions. The Soviets, however, did not limit their ambitions to the moon. They also set their sights on Mars, the enigmatic red planet. The Soviet Union embarked on a Martian mission that initially seemed to be progressing well. But then, without warning, all radio contact with the spacecraft was lost, leaving the mission shrouded in mystery for decades. Today, Elon Musk has suggested that the story of the Soviet Mars mission might not be as straightforward as it seems. On social media and during interviews, Musk has hinted that he has uncovered long hidden secrets related to the mission, involving advanced technologies and perhaps even encounters with UFOs. These revelations prompt the question, 
Could there be more to the Soviet space program than what has been officially acknowledged? Soviet Space Achievements While Neil Armstrong's moonwalk is widely celebrated as a pinnacle of space exploration, the Soviet Union's achievements during the 1960s and beyond deserve equal recognition. One of the most significant milestones was the Luna 9 mission in 1966, which achieved the first soft landing on the moon and transmitted the first images from the lunar surface back to Earth. This success was followed by Luna 16, which not only reached the moon, but also returned lunar soil samples for analysis. In 1961, the Soviet space program reached another historic milestone when Yuri Gagarin orbited the Earth aboard Vostok 1. His 108-minute journey made Gagarin the first human to travel into space, securing the Soviet Union's leading position in the space race. This early dominance was further reinforced by the Voskhod missions, which included the first spaceflight carrying multiple crew members in 1964. The Soviets continued to break new ground with the launch of Salyut 1 in 1971, the world's first space station. The Soviet Union's commitment to space stations continued with the construction and operation of the Mir space station. From 1986 until its deorbiting in 2001, Mir served as a hub for scientific research, technological innovation, and international cooperation, hosting astronauts and cosmonauts from around the world. Parallel to their manned missions, the Soviet Union embarked on the ambitious Venera program to explore Venus a planet known for its incredibly hostile environment. Venus's atmosphere, marked by extreme pressures and a composition rich in carbon dioxide and sulfuric acid, presented formidable challenges. The first mission, Venera 3, launched in 1965, ended in failure as it crashed on Venus without transmitting any data. Undeterred, the Soviets pressed on, and in 1967, Venera 4 successfully landed providing crucial information about Venus's atmosphere, including the absence of oxygen and water, and confirming that the planet lacked a magnetic field. The insights gained from Venera four spurred further Soviet exploration under the Venera program, leading to 12 more missions. Among these, Venera 5 and 6, launched in 1969 were equipped with enhanced protections to withstand Venus's crushing atmospheric pressures and gather more detailed data. The program peaked technologically with Venera 8, which transmitted groundbreaking images and videos from Venus's surface. The subsequent missions, Venera 9 through 12, launched between 1975 and 1978, deployed landers that captured high-resolution images of the Venusian terrain, significantly advancing our understanding of the planet. These missions played a crucial role in revealing the mysteries of Venus, providing a wealth of data that continues to inform contemporary science. However, they also became the subject of speculation and intrigue. It has been rumored that the Soviets kept many of the images and data from these missions hidden from the public. According to some accounts, it wasn't until a brave Soviet astronaut decided to leak these images that the world got a glimpse of the wonders, or perhaps the harsh realities, of Venus. Soviet ambitions on Mars building. On their achievements with the Venera missions, the Soviets set their sights on Mars, aiming to unravel the mysteries of the Red Planet. Their Martian exploration program was characterized by a series of bold missions designed to study Mars's atmosphere, climate, and surface features. Two missions, Mars 2 and Mars 3, were central to these efforts. On May 19, 1971, the Soviet Union launched Mars 2, equipped with both an orbiter and a lander. Although, the lander's parachute malfunctioned, leading to a crash landing on the Martian surface, the orbiter successfully entered Martian orbit and transmitted valuable data back to Earth. Not deterred by the lander's failure, the Soviets launched Mars three just nine days later, on May 28, 1971. Mars 3 carried a similar orbiter-lander configuration, and while the orbiter successfully completed its mission, the lander achieved a historic milestone. On December 2, 1971, it became the first spacecraft to perform a successful soft landing on Mars. The engineering behind these missions was nothing short of extraordinary. 
The spacecraft were designed to withstand the 200 million kilometer journey from Earth and the harsh conditions of the Martian environment. Each lander was equipped with heat shields, retro rockets, and parachute systems to ensure a safe landing. The Mars 3 mission, in particular, showcased the robustness of Soviet space technology by enduring the challenges of Mars and executing a successful landing. A standout feature of these missions was the Prop M rover, a small but sophisticated piece of Soviet engineering. Weighing just five kilograms, this robotic explorer was designed to traverse the Martian terrain using ski-like appendages and advanced obstacle avoidance systems. The rover, connected to the lander by a 15-meter cable, was capable of conducting soil analysis, including determining its density, texture, and composition. Despite its brief operational time of only 20 seconds, the Prop M rover represented an early attempt at autonomous robotic exploration on Mars. While the Mars 2 mission encountered challenges, Mars 3's successful soft landing marked a monumental achievement in space exploration. It was the first time a human-made object had gently touched down on another planet, reinforcing the Soviet Union's prominent position in the space race. These missions were engineering marvels, each spacecraft weighing approximately 4,650 kilograms and equipped with a variety of scientific instruments, including cameras and spectrometers. These tools enabled the collection of extensive data on Mars, significantly advancing our understanding of its atmosphere, soil composition, and magnetic field. The Legacy of Mars 2 and Mars 3 The Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions stand as a testament to the Soviet Union's technological prowess and visionary aspirations during the space race. These missions pushed the boundaries of what was technologically possible at the time. The landers were meticulously engineered to survive the descent onto Mars's rugged terrain, with the landing sequence itself being a highly orchestrated maneuver involving parachutes and retro rockets to ensure a soft touchdown. This was not merely a technical feat, but a remarkable demonstration of engineering precision. However, the triumph of these missions was short-lived. Shortly after Mars 3's historic landing, communication with the lander was abruptly lost, plunging the mission into uncertainty. This sudden silence left many questions unanswered and fueled speculation about what might have gone wrong. Despite this setback, the Soviet space program remained resilient, and the knowledge gained from these early missions bolstered their resolve to continue exploring the Red Planet. The missions were driven not only by competition with the United States, but also by a deep scientific curiosity about Mars and the possibility of extraterrestrial life. The Prop M rover aboard Mars 3, though operational for only a short time, was a significant leap forward in space exploration technology. It was equipped to perform a range of scientific tasks, from soil analysis to atmospheric measurements and even the search for signs of life. The first image transmitted from Mars by Mars 3 Although a simple gray landscape was a monumental achievement, marking the Soviet Union's significant contribution to our understanding of Mars. Yet, the mission's abrupt end, just 15 seconds after data transmission began, remains a mystery. Theories about the loss of communication range from severe Martian dust storms known to engulf the planet, to more speculative ideas involving potential interference by Martian life forms. This sudden loss of communication was a major setback leaving scientists on Earth in the dark about the fate of the mission. The incident also exacerbated the secrecy often associated with the Soviet space program, which was known for withholding information from the public. Adding to the intrigue, it was later revealed that the existence of the Prop M rovers had been omitted from official Soviet disclosures until the late 1990s. This revelation sparked further debate and speculation about what other secrets might have been kept from international scrutiny. Beyond the specifics of the Mars 2 and Mars 3 missions, Mars itself continues to be a captivating subject of study, particularly due to the dramatic and expansive dust storms that occasionally sweep across its surface. These storms, capable of enveloping the entire planet for weeks, transform Mars from a barren, lifeless red landscape into a dynamic, swirling amber world. They highlight the volatile nature of Martian atmospheric conditions, 
and serve as a reminder of the challenges and uncertainties that continue to fascinate astronomers and planetary scientists. Through these ambitious missions, the Soviet efforts to explore Mars underscored the complexities and challenges of interplanetary travel. But more than that, they exemplified the relentless human drive to explore and understand our universe. The legacy of Mars 2 and Mars 3 continues to influence current and future missions, inspiring ongoing exploration and study of Mars, which remains as enigmatic and alluring as ever. Soviet missions, Martian dust, and the enduring allure of space exploration. The Soviet Union's Mars. Three mission in 1971 captured the world's imagination, marking a monumental achievement as the first successful landing on another planet. However, the excitement was short-lived. Moments after transmitting a grainy image of the Martian surface, the lander abruptly fell silent. Experts have speculated that a colossal Martian dust storm might have engulfed Mars 3, prematurely ending its mission and leaving many to wonder what secrets the red planet may still conceal, including the tantalizing possibility of extraterrestrial life hidden within its dusty expanse. Space exploration is an awe-inspiring pursuit that stretches the limits of human knowledge and technological capability. Yet, it is also a journey fraught with uncertainties. Even the most meticulously planned missions face the possibility of unforeseen complications. A poignant example is the Mars 2 mission, resulting in a devastating crash. This event starkly highlighted the unpredictable nature and inherent risks of space exploration. This theme of unexpected challenges resonates throughout the history of space missions, including the Apollo program. During the descent of the lunar module to the moon's surface, the situation grew tense as a smooth landing appeared increasingly unlikely. However, disaster was narrowly avoided thanks to the exceptional piloting skills and quick thinking of Neil Armstrong, who took manual control to steer the module to safety. Armstrong's decisive actions not only saved his life, but also ensured the mission's success, underscoring the delicate balance between risk and reward in space exploration. Such setbacks, while disheartening, provide invaluable learning opportunities for the scientific community. When space missions fail, they prompt a thorough investigative process akin to forensic science. Scientists and engineers meticulously examine data, scrutinize telemetry, and conduct detailed analyses to determine the exact causes of failure. This investigative process is crucial for identifying technological weaknesses and implementing necessary improvements. The Mars. Three mission exemplifies how failures can drive advancements in space exploration. Following the lander's unexpected shutdown, Soviet scientists launched an intensive investigation determined to prevent similar issues in future missions. Their efforts led to significant technological improvements, enhancing the reliability and robustness of subsequent space endeavors. By the turn of the millennium, these advancements had significantly expanded the capabilities of space exploration inspiring renewed interest among American scientists to pursue their own Mars missions. Fueled by the legacy of Soviet achievements and the lingering mysteries of Mars, they were driven to explore the Red Planet with a new sense of purpose. The search for Mars 3 and the beginning of collaboration in 2005, NASA embarked on a mission to unravel the enigma of Mars 3 by launching the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter, MRO. This advanced satellite, equipped with high-resolution imaging technology, was designed to scrutinize the Martian surface in unprecedented detail. One of the MRO's key objectives was to locate the remains of the Mars 3 lander, a relic of the Soviet Union's pioneering yet mysterious venture on Mars. The search for Mars 3 was no easy task. Decades had passed since its historic mission, and Mars's harsh conditions, marked by frequent dust storms and strong winds, posed significant challenges, potentially burying or dispersing any trace of the Soviet lander. Nevertheless, driven by scientific curiosity and a respect for space heritage, American scientists meticulously analyzed the data and images sent back by Mars 3 to determine its final resting place. After extensive searching, 
the MRO succeeded in capturing images of scattered debris on the Martian terrain, revealing a historical treasure trove. Among these discoveries were a well-preserved parachute and a circular metal object, which many experts identified as the Mars 3 lander itself. Nearby, a distinctive dark patch hinted at the spacecraft's initial impact site. The discovery of these artifacts was more than just a technical achievement. It was a poignant reminder of the Soviet Union's contributions to space exploration and its enduring legacy. However, the exact reasons behind the abrupt termination of Mars 3's mission remain a mystery. Despite this, the images provided by the MRO offered invaluable insights and a concrete link to past explorations. These findings underscored the importance of international collaboration in space exploration. Rather than reigniting old rivalries, the confirmation of the Mars 3 landing site fostered a spirit of cooperation and shared scientific pursuit. This ethos of collaboration eventually contributed to the development of the International Space Station, ISS, symbolizing a unified approach to exploring the cosmos. Today, the ISS serves as a beacon of international unity, where astronauts from various countries work together on scientific research and space exploration projects. From the daring Soviet missions that extended humanity's reach to the Martian surface to the modern-day collaborations aboard the ISS, the story of Mars 3 illuminates our collective journey in space. It reminds us that while competition may drive progress, our shared quest for knowledge and understanding transcends national boundaries. As we continue to explore other planets and seek answers about potential extraterrestrial life, the legacy of missions like Mars 3 guides our path forward. What will the next chapters of space exploration hold? Stay tuned for more updates and discoveries as we delve deeper into the mysteries of the universe. Subscribe to our channel for more fascinating insights into space and beyond, and share your thoughts in the comments below. Until then, we'll see you in the next one.